Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the docks located on Water Street near the lake in Mayville. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Join us live Saturday mornings between 9 and 10 a.m. in Fredonia, Mayville, and Silver Creek. Call in and share a thought or wish someone a happy birthday with Chautauqua County's only live on-air senior program. Reed continues in his 15th year with interesting guests expressing their viewpoints and informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. And good morning. What a beautiful day in Chautauqua County. It's just crisp out. A little bit of frost out there. And it's that time of year. And the turkey hunters are in the woods. And the deer hunters are coming soon. Bow hunters have gotten their deer already. I want to congratulate Jeff, who's one of our people right here. Got a huge deer. He got two, he tells me. Actually, he got one with a bow. And then recently, as shortly after, he knocked one off with his truck, which he did not leave there to rot. <laughs> Another 40 pounds of venison, can't beat it. Guys, uh, have, a, have good luck out there in the woods. It's a tremendous uh, aspect to our county that uh, is very frequently goes unnoticed. That is a fantastic hunting we have up here in Chautauqua County. The woods, the meadows, all the cornfields. And, oh boy, it is wonderful hunting. And the turkeys. Everybody gets a Thanksgiving turkey who feels like it. <laughs> Just go out and blow it away and spend four, four to five hours picking it, cleaning it, getting it ready to eat. I'll take the four dollar ten, four dollar uh, ten pounder over at Walmart, <laughs> all ready to go. But uh, at any rate, it is wonderful sport. Um, the pheasant has gone, so basically the uh, the turkey has taken its place. <laughs> I think the pheasants. Uh, uh, have a ma major drawback in their nesting uh, habits. They nest on the ground. <laughs> Skunks, coons, foxes, and now millions of coyotes looking for tender little pheasant nestlings. <laughs> no more pheasants. You see one once in a rare while, but that's a rarity these days. Oh, back when I was a kid, they were all over the place because the Fish and Game Club clubs would all stock them in the fall. So there'd be plenty around for the hunting season. And of course, they wouldn't last too much longer either because of that little uh, ground nesting habit they have. Okay, we have uh, lots of wonderful things to talk about. Uh, we're going to have uh, the director of the Office of the Aging on very shortly, and uh, it'll be a, a wonderful show. And we're going to also talk about some other things that are of uh, great interest. For instance, uh, this, the inflation, they keep talking about the way to settle, uh, fix the government, uh, the budget is to cut Social Security. Wait a minute, we put money into it. And it's, it's been amortized so that it will pay us a certain amount of money. Now they want to take our money back that we put into it. Sorry, gentlemen, uh, it don't work. And where's the $8 trillion in the trust fund that would cover Social Security forever? Oh, it's been borrowed by your Congress and your uh, presidents. Uh, they put an IOU in there. Uh-huh. Just, uh, it's called, uh, it's called, uh, basically, it's, it's just, uh, it's criminal. That's all I can say. Now they're cutting it again. Yeah, no inflation, seniors. Although here in Chautauqua County, I see we have about what amounts to over 7% increase in taxes. Go to the supermarket, everything is jumping 15, 20% every time you turn around. Uh, really, check the prices. No inflation, Mr. Powers. Your health insurance is jumping. Uh, no inflation, Mr. Powers. Your local taxes, real estate taxes, uh, your t school tax, everything are rising rapidly. Gasoline going crazy. Fuel, 
no inflation, Mr. Powers, so you're going to get no cola for two years. Well, that means that we've lost another probably 10% of our purchasing power. We already lost half of it between the years 2002 and 2008. So now you're going to lose another 10%, 60% of it. In other words, 2002, you, you spent a dollar, you got a dollar. You spend that dollar, now you get 40 cents worth of groceries. Congress should be shamed for this. And where, incidentally, is the great protector of the seniors, the AARP? They should be raising hell about this. How the seniors who are dependent on their Social Security, most of them, and small pensions, most of them, which are going right along with this federal phony figure, no inflation figure. They've changed the rules on, on how they figure it out. Uh, and so now they've declared that under the new system, there's no inflation. That's bunkum. And what's the AARP doing about this? Seniors are literally starving at this point, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. They're losing their homes. And AARP, where are they? I should hear, we should hear a drumbeat, TV ads. Not a sound out of them. The only TV ad I get from the AARP is every day I get a bunch of ads for insurance. Buy insurance. It looks like AARP is a giant insurance company, really. You know, the, the medical insurance, the Medigap insurance, the, the automobile insurance, uh, housing insurance. Buy it from AARP. Approved insurers. I think they're just one giant farce. I haven't heard a sound out of them about this uh, slow stagnation and finally uh, disappearance of your uh, Social Security funds. The COLA was always promised. Now you've got 85-year-old people looking for jobs. How do they, how's, they, yeah, they can get a job at the supermarket, climbing up a ladder, stocking shelves. Yeah, lots of luck. They can barely walk. Trouble seeing. It's in, insane. We got, let, she can come on in here. I got a friend showing up. <laughs> now, so at any rate, Call your AARP and say, I want some action. You're supposed to represent seniors, not insurance companies. All right, now, uh, of course, the wars go on. We're in a war economy. They say, how can we save money? Well, we've got 50,000 troops in, uh, in South Vietnam, 50,000 troops in Korea, 50,000 troops in Europe, 50,000 troops in Japan. Oh, bring all these kids home. Say, def uh, take care of yourselves. They're not doing anything meaningful. And it costs uh, probably $100,000 per troop to keep them there. All right, secondly, let's cut down the wars. We've we got this war economy going over in, Asia, over in the Middle East. Stop the wars. Pull out. Say, hey, guys, we're not going to spend a trillion dollars a year anymore on, on the war. You take care of yourselves. It's a civil war anyway. May the winner win and the loser lose. Uh, bring the troops home. Cut back on the huge expenditures in our uh, government costs for the Army and the Navy, Coast Guard, and the Marines. It's becoming a scandal. Another thing I, I would suggest they do is uh, tax every member of Congress from now, uh, that served in the last uh, 25, 30 years. Let's see, since Vietnam when they started the action, borrowing money from the Social Security Trust Fund. Don't trust them, believe me. Uh, every one of them should be taxed until they repay the $8 trillion that's supposed to be there. And they haven't even been paying interest on it, and they keep trying to save that's Social Security. But when there is an overage, which there always is, every year, they take it and uh, spend it on their wars which make the munition uh, giants very happy. They're the only ones benefiting from these wars, are the giants that make tanks and firepower and, and guns and uh, sell uh, water for uh, $20 a bottle. Halliburton got a huge contract. They stole a lot of money. They admitted it. Well, the government said, it's okay, pay us a little something back and forget it. Well, after all, the vice president used to run Halliburton, has a lot of stock in it. <clears throat> yeah. Enough said. Let's talk about something fun. We have the best senior groups in the world in Chautauqua County, and I'm going to just give you a note or two from some of them. And when they tell me the news time is up, I have to stop. If I forget yours, it's only because they shut me down. Okay, Lakeshore Seniors, uh, they're quite a wonderful gang over there in uh, the Latimer and Fredonia. Charlene Hallmark, if you want to get in touch, is the president, does a wonderful job there. And drop around November 17th, my daughter's birthday, and uh, you will uh, be uh, greeted warmly by Genevieve uh, Melsko and Pat Pacos. No meeting. They canceled the meeting. Note that, uh, guys. Uh, November 24th has been canceled. 
Dunkirk Federated, you know, they're where, where they're from. Loretta Emick does the job. And uh, their next meeting, if you want to get in touch with those guys, November 16th, when you will be greeted warmly by Helen Barone, who is the greeting greeter. Steger High Rise Tenants Association. Um, Gordon Rayner does the job over there if you want to get in touch and drop around. They have a nice group. They always meet uh, regularly uh, Sunday and uh, November 21st at 4 p.m. They're having Thanksgiving dinner, which will include the works. December 19th, 4 p.m. in the community room again. They will have a prime rib dinner for Christmas. Now, how can you beat that? And the Kokomo band will party along with you guys. They, st they tune up at 5 p.m. So drop around on the uh, December 19th anyway, all you guys out there, and anybody who, who, who would like to be members, drop around. And incidentally, they're doing a cute thing. They've got Santa Claus there. Uh, this is a Steger crowd. And they're going to take pictures with each member and send those to, their, their, to the troops, to their uh, kids and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, or whatever it may be, of them with uh, Santa Claus this year. How about that? United Senior Citizens, that's a classic group of seniors who are directors, leaders, uh, shakers and movers in the senior world up here, and anybody who wants to join, I might add. Yeah, they're meeting on my birthday, <laughs> which just passed. They met at the Beaver Club, and they have a great gang over there. And if you're interested in getting in touch with these folks, check in with Charles St. George. He's well-known all over the area. Everybody knows him. And uh, they had a, they, their dinner is usually served by Beaver Tail Catering. I love it at the Beaver Club. And this, uh, this time they're having turkey. What else? You know, the Willow Works. Happy birthday to Joanna Brown. And Mary Dolan from Absolute Care had a program on how to avoid falling on your you-know-what. <laughs> you know that stupid ad. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Everybody remembers that one. And so you're supposed to carry a lifeguard thing on your watch. You press it and boom, the ambulance appears out of nowhere, <laughs> picks you up. <clears throat> I suggested, you know, they got the old cell phones. If you turn them in, they'll adjust them so that you can't, you can't use it for normal calls. But you can hit a button and get 911. So instead of spending uh, three, four hundred dollars a year for this little gadget, just carry a little tiny cell phone. They're very small now, <laughs> around your around your neck, and uh, or strap it on like a watch if you have to. And if you fall, press the nine one one. Boom! You got the same action. <laughs> it's faster too because it goes directly to the ambulance. Okay, how do you like that for a suggestion? And when you do your turkey for Thanksgiving, brine it. 1 to 16, salt, water. Put it in, a, in, a, in a, a big plastic bag and fill it up so that the bag touches the whole turkey and let it sit for up to, I let my sit up for up to 12 hours and keep the, keep the water uh, pretty cold. You've got to put some ice cubes in it and keep it cool. Uh, and it'll be juicier, it'll plump up. You should see the difference in the size of it. And it'll be just wonderful. That little trick does the job. Okay, I wish the peanut gallery would quiet down, please. Uh, we, have a, uh, we have some people in here watching this show at all times. You're always welcome, incidentally. Anybody wants to drop around Saturday morning from 9 to 10 or even 8.30 when we get started, we do the background stuff. Drop around any time. Uh, okay, Senior Report rolls on to tell you that the Mount Carmel Club is going to have a big December 1st Chinese auction. Sinclairville Seniors, Elaine Palmer Titus does the job there as a president. Get in touch with her if you want to. That's a big crowd over there they have. Happy birthday, Damon Smith, Robert Peterson, Jane Penharo, and the peanut gallery will quiet down. Next meeting is uh, Tuesday, December 14th at noon at the Stockton South, this Wayside Chapel. No, oh, wait, ham and potatoes. And we have the A. Sorry? Okay. They just gave me the bell. The time is up for the Senior Report uh, news, and uh, we will move on with our guest who's coming up right along in a minute. But first, I have a public with our uh, extra guest, the, uh, the geezer. But first of all, we have a public service announcement, and it's just for you. Here you go. Yeah, I took a trip to Elkhart, Indiana today. Elkhart's a place that...